What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch using a software called Raybot. And this one has a component that is completely free as well as some premium ones. So it's available here on Tenorshare.com and Tenorshare Rayboot is actually available for both Windows and Mac OS. Now what this program does is to fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode like this one here with the power cable and the laptop, on a boot loop like the Apple logo showing non-stop and of course blue screen, black screen and you know various glitches and so on. So the tool itself is pretty useful especially if your device broke because of a bad update or because of a jailbreak and so on. So the way this works is pretty simple, it's made to be very easy to use and it's made to be like a replacement for iTunes, which by the way on macOS no longer exists. macOS Catalina doesn't ship with iTunes anymore and it's probably for the better. So once you get the tool itself, you can see that it has multiple options here. My iPad mini 4 was already detected and it shows in here and you have the iOS system repair, which you can press start here, but you also have the option to enter and exit recovery mode. Now of course depending on why you would need them, you can easily switch between them by pressing this button and your device enters recovery mode right now. So of course your device will reboot and it will show the Apple logo and then of course the power cable will be shown. So of course now you're in recovery mode and if you want to exit recovery mode it's just as simple, you press exit recovery mode and that's it. So the program is pretty simple to use but those are the basic features. The program itself can actually fix a lot of issues including including resetting the device and of course fixing the device if it doesn't connect anymore to the computer or it's locked, you forgot the passcode, you forgot whatever passcodes for restrictions and so on. So you can easily fix it with that. So the way you do that from the Rayboot application, once you install it, on macOS it comes as a DMG, you just drag it and drop it here and once you have it you press start here with the device connected and you have two options, the standard repair and of course the deep repair. Now on the standard repair here it fixes the most common iOS system issues without data loss, which means that it's going to try to update your iOS to the latest version while fixing most of the issues. Of course, if that is way too damaged because of a jailbreak or something like that, you can opt for the deep repair, which unfortunately will cause data loss, which means that everything will be erased, but it does have a chance to fix much bigger issues, which can be caused by, for example, an interrupted update or, for example, by a jailbreak that went wrong and so on. So I'm actually going to go with a deep repair in this case because this tablet is not really working very fine and unfortunately I have removed a couple of things that I shouldn't have removed. A couple of important files. So I'm going to go with the deep repair it's going to download automatically the firmware. Now depending on how fast your internet connection is, it may take a couple of minutes to even a couple of hours because those firmware are pretty big. Now if you already have the latest version available or assigned one, you can import it from the local storage in here by pressing this little button. However, if you don't, you will be able to press the download button here and it's going to start downloading automatically. Now, as I said, it depends on how fast your internet connection is. You can see I have right about 34, 35 megabytes per second, which is pretty good. It means that it's only going to take a couple of minutes to download the four and a half gigs firmware and this one is going to update my iPad mini 4 here to version 14.5.1. Now do keep in mind that depending on the device you have, if you update it to a newer version like 14.5.1, there may not be a jailbreak available for you. However, it's a small price to pay if your device no longer boots and it's stuck in recovery mode or boot loop and so on. You would definitely want it to work because jailbreaks, of course, there will be more in the future, but if your device doesn't boot, then there is no good. So do keep in mind that this will update your device to the latest version available which will cause you to lose your jailbreak if you had one to begin with. So yeah, you can see that it's almost done here, it's almost completed the download and of course all this time you have to have your device plugged into your computer and do not touch it, do not press any buttons, do not disconnect it and so on. And I would definitely recommend you to do this with the battery charged. Even if it doesn't power on, plug in the device to the charger and let it sit for a couple of minutes in order to charge. You wouldn't want this operation to fail in the middle of the process because your battery ran out. So definitely let it charge. It may not charge properly over USB from your computer because of the low power USB. So as you can see the firmware has been downloaded with no intervention from me. It says in here that it's for iPad mini 4 and it's ready and we press start deep repair. 
I'm gonna press repair and at this point it's going to verify it and analyze it and so on and this process can take some time because this has to communicate with the device and then with the Apple server and so on so this may take roughly 10 minutes or so you don't have to press on anything you don't have to do anything you just have to sit here on the screen and wait for the program to do everything for you. So the program is pretty much doing everything without any user intervention. So now, as you can see, the device is going to boot in recovery mode. It says in here, enter recovery mode. You may see something like this in here. You press cancel, you press X in here, and you leave the program do its job. Do not press on restore, do not press on upgrade if that shows up in Finder. As you can see, estimated time, nine minutes. So we're going to wait for it, and I'm gonna be right back once it's completed. So as you can see, it says deep prepare completed. Please wait patiently for your device to reboot. You will see a progress bar showing the device is updating. Just wait for a moment. So yes, definitely the device does show a progress bar right now. So it may take a couple more minutes for it to boot. But at this point, you will be able indeed to press done. Do keep in mind that this tool will not remove iCloud activation. So you should keep that in mind before doing a restore anyways. Yep, that's basically it. That's how the program works. Pretty easy to use, especially for beginner people who are new to iOS and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Check out the free version on the link below and of course, and of course, check out their resources as well where you can see how to use it and so on. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.